Welcome back. We still have two systems in the tropics, one off the east coast and the other one the southwest gulf, but the one off the east coast that will quickly diminish as it does interact with land. But we're going to take it over to the green screen to get a bigger overview of Invest 93L that does have the potential to become a tropical depression under the, under the conditions that it has to slowly form here over the next couple of days. But right now, uh, that does remain mostly in the southwest gulf and the other disturbance off the east coast it is bringing in a few showers for florida so invest 93 l uh, right now 40 miles per hour and this will mostly stay uh, in the southwest at southwest gulf impact in mexico and texas once again so heavy rainfall uh, involved with this system but this will stay fairly south from us in louisiana once again so conditions now temperatures from the upper 80s to low 90s right here in our neighborhood lafayette we're sitting at 91 degrees in New Iberia at 89. Opelousas and Jennings uh, temperatures are the same at 88 degrees. So fairly warm. Um, say may, some may say it's pretty hot on this Saturday, but rain chance is still pretty low. About 20% for isolated shower coming up on Sunday with rain chances increasing as we progress through the start of next week with the best chance of rain rolling in on Thursday. And we'll start to see those rain chances decrease just a little bit as we head into next weekend. So luckily the rain gear uh, finally get, get, a, get a break here over the next couple of days. But temperatures tonight, mainly the 70s for most of Louisiana. It does increase a little bit in our area, mid-70s there, but that'll be short-lived because temperatures jump right back into the 80s by the latter part of the morning. So for the next couple of hours, very dry across the entire state. May have a few passing clouds overall, but the forecast remains pretty quiet for the next couple of days. But once we get into Sunday afternoon, we may have a few light showers pass through, but very spotty popcorn in nature here as I call them as a very small cell can drop a lot of rainfall, but will quickly move out in a short amount of time. But it does uh, dry out by the nighttime hour as we lose that daytime heating, and we can expect another round of isolated showers to uh, into the area again for Monday afternoon. So temperatures tonight. Overall in the 70s, very warm and humid with mostly cloudy skies and also those wind speeds staying pretty light coming out of the south between 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then for Sunday, another dry day ahead with mostly sunny and hot conditions ahead. Temperatures topping out in the low 90s. We may have a few areas creep up into the mid 90s, but still uh, pretty hot as we get into Sunday with heat index values up to 106. So it is a perfect time to get some ice cream. I was already contemplating about what kind of ice cream I want to get when I get off today, but highs in the 90s and we got heat, heat index values um, at least up to 106. So the ice cream will be building pretty fast as we get into tomorrow. So for the next 10 days here, Sunday, Monday and Tuesday to start off, rain chances increasing up to at least 30% uh, by Monday and Tuesday. Still temperatures in the 90s coming up, but we'll see um, slightly hotter temperatures near 94 as we get into uh, Tuesday and or Monday through Wednesday and rain chances at its highest rolling in on Thursday. Then after that, we'll see a slight change in rain chances, but not too much. It'll still be a chance for showers and thunderstorms this entire week once again, but at least we got fairly dry days through Tuesday, but we'll have another snapshot coming up later.